Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Hannafin with Pop It, Paint It. This month we are doing a very special Christmas painting, the one and only Mr. Grinch here. Um, before we get started, I do wanna make sure that you guys all have a cup of water to rinse your brushes out with. Um, and you should all have a new pack of brushes, a large, medium, and small, um, as well as all of your paint colors. So you should have white, black, red, green, and then a dark green. Um, you can use your uh, plate there for mixing your colors if you need to. I don't think we'll, we'll need the paper plates to mix our colors, um, but it's there just in case you do. We also have a set of paper towels that you'll need as well, okay? So um, if, if I'm going too fast, you are more than welcome to pause or stop the video, but you all should have a set of step-by-step -step directions. Um, so if you don't have internet or anything like that, you can use these to uh, follow along with. This is gonna be a really simple painting, so um, everyone's painting should turn out great, all right? So the very first thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to use our large brush and we're going to be painting this white cuff here. So this is gonna be the oval around the hand of the Grinch. You should all have a pre-sketched Grinch hand with an arm and everything like that. So this is what we're going to be doing. So we're going to dip our large brush in our white paint and then we're going to paint over our oval. It's okay if you go over your pencil lines. We eventually don't want to see them at the end, okay? While we're done, uh, that's a pretty <laughs> fast and simple step there. Um, we're going to go ahead and paint the hand of the Grinch next. I don't want you to worry about making it fluffy. We're going to do that after we paint our background. So the very first thing that we're going to do then, we don't need to rinse our brush. We're going to dip it in our light green. That's going to be this one here. Use the same brush and we're going to outline our hand. It's okay if it turns light. Like I said, we're gonna go back through and paint over this, so this does not need to be perfect. If we lose the shape of our hand, um, we'll use our black to kind of trim it out for us, okay? So go through, let's paint the fingers. We're almost to winter break, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have my green hand painted. It's kind of sloppy. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna go back through and add all of the fur. So don't do that right now. Let's go ahead and rinse out our large brush. Get all the green out of there. And then I want you guys to uh, wring it out on your paper towel. We don't want it to be dripping wet, okay? Because your paint will run off of uh, your painting. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to be dipping it in our red paint and we're gonna paint the red ball at the bottom. Again, if you go outside of your lines, that's okay. We're going to take the black and we can sharpen everything up. And then we're going to paint the red sleeve here. Now I like to take my paint, and do you guys see this white edge right here? I like to take my paint and wrap it around in the edge here. That way when you hang it up, you don't see that white edge because you will see it if it's hung up. See that? And you can also get the little top too. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna rinse out those large brushes. And 
Now you can use your large brush or your medium, whichever one you're comfortable with. And we're going to be outlining our Grinch arm and our Grinch hand with black. Um, I'm going to use my large brush, but like I said, if you feel more comfortable with a smaller brush, go ahead and switch to the medium. We want to outline our hand first before we start painting the background. Um, that way it gives it time to dry, so when we go to do our fur, we won't have black smudging through everything. So it's very important that we outline our hand first. And you guys can use whatever brush you're comfortable with. This will be the time if your hand looks a little wonky, then we can fix it, okay? Ask uh, an adult to help you if you need help. I'm gonna go around the cuff. Now you don't want any thick uh, clumps of paint on here, so if you have any thick clumps, let's go ahead and smooth those out. Got a couple there. Okay, so we're painting around the hand first. And then we'll go around uh, the arm here. And then we'll go around the ball. I'm going to stand a little in front so I can sharpen up my circle. Now you guys take your time and do this. There's no rush or anything like that. You guys can pause the video. and then we're going to go ahead and paint the rest of our background. I'm a really fast painter. Um, when you guys come to class, if you ever come into my studio and come to my class, I do not go this fast, okay? Some of you are fast painters like me. Okay, let's do the front before we do the sides too. We're gonna wrap our black paint off on our edges as well. But I wanna make sure that we get that front side all tidied up. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap that black paint off on my white edges, just like what we did with the red sleeve. This is so when you hang it up, you can, uh, it looks all completed and nice and finished. Okay. We're going to be putting those large brushes in our water cups and we're going to be done with those.
Now, if your black um, is a little wet around your hand, you might need to give it a minute to dry. You can use a blow dryer or you can just wait patiently. Um, if you wanna use a blow dryer, the heat is what dries it. So um, blow, don't waste your breath on trying to blow it, okay? Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do the fur here. Um, I'll move this closer so you guys can get a closer look. Okay, so when we do the fur, we kind of want to go around uh, the same direction as our pencil lines. So uh, we're going to be doing a bunch of little lines, but we want to keep it all going in the same direction as your fingers and, um, you know, these fingers are pointed downwards. So we want our lines to go downwards with the hand. And then these ones are going to kind of curve around the hand here. Okay. Ultimately, the Grinch is extra furry, so however you wanna make his furry hand is completely up to you. Um, I've never had a bad painting turnout uh, with a group of kids that have done this painting, so um, you guys make your fur as extra furry as you want, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my medium brush now. You can also use your small if you're more comfortable with that. And we're gonna dip it in our light green, so the same color that we use uh, to paint our hand. And I'm gonna start by making a bunch of little lines like this to make my fur, okay? We're gonna be covering this entire hand here. Hoping you guys can still see. Now the key to this painting here is we're going to be bouncing back and forth between our two greens. So you should have your light green and your dark green. We're not gonna rinse our brush in between each use, okay? So now I just dip my brush in my dark green and I'm gonna go back over some of that light green that I just did. And I'm gonna do some more fur. So this is a bunch of little lines. We want a bunch of different colors in there, different shades of green, okay? We don't want it to be one solid color. So bounce back and forth between your two greens. You can't go wrong, okay? I'm really filling this in here. It's a bunch of little lines. Has anybody watched The Grinch yet this year? I did just the other day. Okay, so all different shades of green in here, all different shades. You can even add a little bit of white to your green too to make it a little lighter if you want to. So take your time with this part. There's no hurry. That hand is covered. Okay. We're going to rinse out our brush when you're finished with your green. Does anybody know what two colors make gray? They're on your plate there. We're gonna to mix together a little bit of black and white to make gray, okay? So this is gonna be a light gray. It doesn't take very much black, so don't use a lot. And I'm gonna mix up a little a light gray. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the top part of our bulb. 
So I'm going to do just a rectangle. So it's gonna be the same width as your medium paintbrush. And we're just gonna do a rectangle right on top of our red bulb, okay? And then we're going to do a string going in between the Grinch's fingers all the way to our bulb. It's just gonna be a straight line. Now, in this painting here, we have a broken bulb, so if you guys wanna add a few like little messy lines inside um, to make it look like it's broken, um, you can do that. They look like a bunch of like little hashtags or um, some crisscrosses, tic-tac-toe boards, whatever you guys want. Okay, let's give our brush a rinse. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a white highlight on the bulb. So dip your medium brush or your small brush, whichever you're comfortable with. And we're going to add just a little white line on our bulb here. This is gonna give it a little highlight. You can do a couple of them if you want to. Then with that same brush, I want you guys to add the white fur on the cuff. Okay, so we're gonna do the fur the exact same way that we did the Grinch's hand. Nice and messy, nice and furry. This does not have to be perfect, okay? Now we have one more step that we're gonna do. We're gonna add a black line into the arm of our Grinch inside of the red there. You can still use the same brush and then we're gonna add another one right underneath his elbow. Now if you guys wanna leave it like this, this is the last thing that we are gonna do. So if you guys wanna leave it like this, you can leave it nice and clean, not messy. Um, or if you wanna make it messy in the background, you can. Um, you can use any size brush that you want. I like to use the large one. And then we can add some messy lines throughout the background here. Like this is supposed to be the Grinch, it's messy, okay? So we can add a few little messy lines. Whatever you guys wanna do into your background, you can. So I'm adding some messy lines into mine. I've got green, you could do red. Now, if you guys wanna do the paint splatter, you can use any color that's on your plate. You're gonna use your large brush and we're going to dip it into a color and we're gonna hold it. I'll show you. I want you guys to hold it up close to the bristles here. So we're gonna hold it like this, okay? And then let's see if you can see. And then we're gonna take our finger and we're gonna pull the bristles back and we're gonna take it and then let go and it's gonna splatter onto your painting. Now make sure you're not doing this next to your neighbor because if they don't want paint splatters on their painting, you're probably gonna end up with paint splatters all over the place. So make sure that you um, keep it in a designated area so that way you don't get paint all over um, your surfaces wherever you're doing this, okay? Um, so maybe lay down like some, um, cardboard or uh, newspaper or something like that, okay? I'm not gonna do the paint splatters on here because um, I, I don't wanna ricochet and get paint everywhere. So, um, but if you guys wanna do the paint splatters, you're more than welcome to, or you can leave it as is. But this is the Grinch, you guys. Nice job. I hope everyone enjoyed it and hopefully we see you guys back in January.